Hey there, adventurers. I'm Mary, and welcome to my patch 6.3 God's Revel Lands Tremble trailer breakdown video. There's a lot to discuss, so spoiler alert if you haven't finished main scenario up to patch 6.2, and Walker's Hildebrand story, the Myths of the Realm Raid series, and mild Final Fantasy 3 spoilers. The trailer opens with a scene from the new Miss of the Realm raid, Euphrosyne. This looks like it's part of the Heaven of Ice, which, according to the Encyclopedia Eorzea, is a palace made from frozen moonbeams Halone herself carved with her spear. The next scene is the Warrior of Light speaking to the gods in Omphalmos, and we get our first glimpse of Menfina the Lover. I'll think the Keeper, and oddly enough, Nymia the Spinner. Now, let me back up a bit to explain why Nymia being here is a little odd. The symbols of the Twelve have always been shown in a pattern that follows the elemental wheel. Lightning, fire, earth, ice, water, and wind. The first raid series had us fighting Birgot and Ralgar, lightning, and Azema and Naldthal, fire. The trailer shows us fighting Nofika and Althic, earth, and Holone and Menfina, ice. So why is Nymia, who is water aspected here? She's even shown later on in the trailer doing a wombo combo attack with Althic. The only thing I can think of is that according to the creation myth, Nymia and Althic are lovers, and the parents of Menfina and Azema, so maybe she's just here to support her man and help dish out divine justice, and we'll get to fight her separately later. The Endwalker logo appears over the Heaven of Earth, which has always been my personal favorite. The idea that Nofika planted a single sapling and Althic bent time to instantly age it to maturity just sounds so amazingly cool. Next is some scenes from the new dungeon, Lapis Manalis. Looks like Zero, Alphino, and Alice will be the trust NPCs available. Maybe Yishtola too, since she's seen with us in Garlemald. This next scene with darkness corrupted people attacking Zero is a flashback, I think. For one, these NPCs are wearing gear from the World of Darkness, and so far in Endwalker, that signals them as denizens of the 13th. We also see Zero here wielding a sword and shield, so shoutouts to the people who are speculating that the statue in Zero's domain was Zero. It looks like you might be right jump cut to the new deep dungeon, Eureka Orthos. This is a Final Fantasy III reference. Eureka was an optional dungeon located under the Crystal Tower. It's where a bunch of the enemies in Circus Tower were originally seen. Kryle even mentions it when you unlock the Eureka Zones, that they named it after an Allegan legend. The NPC here, with the Warrior of Light and Gratia, is Ko Ravnath, and if you've done her side quests, you'd know she's actually possessed by the Allegan Archmage Noah. But according to the live letter, they're removing the quests that explain this, so I'm interested to see what, if anything, with her story is about to change. There's some scenes with Zero fighting Voidsen and Garlemald, and then it transitions to Virtra and Ratsat Han. The voiceover says he's calling, which is kind of a big deal. We've never seen one of the first brood actually use their dragon call, so it'll be interesting to see the effects. We then see some teasers of the Myths of the Realm fight with Nofika. Yoshi P mentioned in the live letter that they can only show her from the back due to spoilers. Sure, Yoshi P. Spoilers. Finally, our boy Golbez appears. Now, given the vignette and colors of this scene, this seems to be an echo vision either from one of the two remaining Archfiends or from the Shadowed Past side story. 
They then show Asian Prime, the final boss of the Aetherochemical Research Facility, to show off more duty support dungeons. They also show the Anti-Tower with the Scions as trust NPCs, and one of them is Thancred. Which is odd, because in the quest where you unlock the Anti-Tower, Yastola specifically says that Thancred could die if he goes inside due to the flow's spells effect on him. Lots of weird retcons in this patch. We then see a scene with Godbert fighting some Magitek, and in a blink and you'll miss it moment, you can see one of the Magitek has Dr. Luge's robot form's head. Remember, he survived the events of the Tower of Babel and is featured in Enwalker's Hildebrand story. Some more teasers for the new Crystalline Conflict Zone and the Lopritz Beast Tribe. It then cuts to a giant pillar of aether coming up from Ratzat Han. It looks like it's originating from where the Tower of Zot used to be. Next up is the fight with Minfina, and she's got a really neat looking wolf friend. She's usually depicted as a maid carrying around Skillet, so I wonder if this circular thing above the ice wolf is related. She's standing on it for her big attack, so maybe. Helone is finally shown off, she's probably one of the more anticipated gods and she lives up to it. Her statues usually show her with a spear and a great shield. It looks like the shield turns into a sword in a very flashy way. We then get a brief glimpse of Althic's big attack featuring Nymia. Althic is also on a horse for this. Let me know in the comment section if you have any ideas what this horse may be. I can't find any reference in either mythology or the game's lore. Lastly, Golbez's voiceover during the trailer gives us a peek into his motive. You can hear him saying that the old world, most likely the pre-darkness 13th, will never be theirs again, and that they don't need to be stuck on the 13th as a purgatory. The last line is hard to hear over the music, but I'm pretty sure he says, Join with me, and together we shall seek the promised land, a glorious kingdom of light wherein all they know death's sweet embrace. This is probably all flashback dialogue from when he was recruiting either Cagnazzo or Rubicante, and he's enticing him with the idea of invading the source. Let me know what you all think of this trailer, I know I'm hyped for January 10th. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like, and if you're new to the channel, I do main story quest easter eggs and speculation for each patch, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, adventurers, remember, you matter, and may you ever walk in the light.